Oh my god, never mind. There's literally nowhere that I can go that the sun isn't gonna be like heaven behind me. Can I come over here? I just want people to see me like literally filming. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here right on the floor. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara, if you're new. Today I'm doing a little Belmont vlog because I have a really productive day ahead of me and I also just have some fun stuff that I wanna show. Today is Friday the 22nd. Yeah. Today, Belmont is doing Live on the Lawn, which is also ignore the construction. Like, I know for a fact you can hear it, but it's nonstop around these parts, like, nonstop. But today, we're doing Live on the Lawn uh, from 3 to 4 30, and it's basically a spot where on the main lawn, like where the fountain is. I'll show you guys later, obviously, but in case you recognize that from other videos, it's where we put singers out and they basically perform Live on the Lawn. There you go. It's something that the club that I'm involved in is coordinating. So this is my first one being an exec member for it and I'm really excited. But I also just have a ton of other things I need to do today. I had two exams this week and then just like a bunch of quizzes. So I need just like a restart on my brain. My face is breaking out from stress from those. So that is the evidence that you need. This morning I woke up at six. I had to get gas before I came to school. So I literally just did my makeup now. It's like 7.15. I don't have class until nine, but I had to get gas and like do stuff. I need to do some homework and get ahead a little bit today. So I just figured I'd come to school early and try to get some stuff done. So right now I'm actually watching Cody go. <laughs> I will be productive after that. I don't really know what stuff I actually need to do. Hang on, let me go look. Okay, like I said, the lighting here is not gonna be very good because of the sun, but I have to sit down, so. Also, I'm, I've am i never been like a huge energy drink person. Like I like Celsius and there's some Red Bulls that I like, but I've been literally on campus drinking Rockstar energy drinks. What is this, 2013? Because that's all we have in our vending machines and like, I just need energy. Rockstar energy, like, come on guys. And I took the last one yesterday and they didn't restock it. And like, take your time, but I just need caffeine. I have to take a quiz today. That's for sure. It's due on Tuesday, but just get ahead. What else do I have to do? I have to do some stuff for my internship, my pop music class, which is fully online. I really want so badly, cause it's like literally so easy. It's just chapter quizzes. I really, really, really want to just like get so much of it done so that I don't have to worry about it. Cause you, could you imagine like if I just finished that class within like the next week and then just like didn't have to do anything for that class for the rest of the semester. That's really what I'm aiming for here. I actually don't have as much as I thought I had to do. I think it's just cause I had exams to study for that it seemed like I had a lot of other stuff. <sighs> I didn't bring the book that I was gonna bring to school today. It's fine, it just gives me an excuse to do a lot of work. I'll find stuff to do. But for now, oh, it's actually 7.40, it's not 7.15, I totally lied to you. I'm gonna finish watching these YouTube videos and then I'm literally just gonna do my pop music chapter quizzes as many as I can before class at nine. And then I'll update you guys. I'm definitely gonna go to White Bison today and do some work and get coffee, caffeine, something. Cause I need it so bad. I have a huge thing of ice water, which apparently is supposed to work like caffeine. So let's hope that that's a true statement because I need it right now so badly. daily hot girl walk to White Bison. This is my go-to spot for sure. It's only a half mile away and the weather lately has been so good. So like, why wouldn't I go and just walk? I literally met these guys there on Monday that in the music industry, because this is, if this is the first you're watching of my videos, I go to school for music business. So these guys came up to me and just started talking to me and then we're like, oh, well like, we'll connect you with people. I was like, please. So now I'm like, well, I have to go to White Bison every day. I actually saw one of them Wednesday, I think it was. Tuesday or Wednesday. It just helps me get work done there and then I really like their chais. It's quite literally like the best chai I've ever had in my life is from White Bison. I don't know what it is about it. They're just so, so, so good. And I always get like a sandwich or a wrap or something from there too. So that's usually what I do for lunch. I haven't gone grocery shopping in so long. I need to do that. It is kind of warm today, I will say, but I have a meeting. It's like 10, 30, 40-ish right now. And I have a meeting at one. 
So I'm just gonna try to grind out some work. I might stay depending on how loud it is in there. Just do my meeting there. Otherwise, I'll walk back to school, do my meeting there. But even then, after that, I don't have anything until 3.30. So like, I might just have my meeting at White Bison. I just hope it's not too loud. Before I get into White Bison and then it's blasting music in there and I can't update you guys, I'm gonna set my goals for what I wanna do while I'm there. So first, I have to take a contract law quiz. I'm gonna do the reading and then take the quiz for that. And then I need to do some readings for my music cornerstone and then maybe work on my business plan for my publishing class a little bit, but we'll see how much time I have. A lot of my stuff like doesn't actually have due dates, but like they are due eventually and I don't know when they're due. So I'm kind of just thinking like, let me just get it done now so that it's ready for whenever it is due and then I don't have to worry about it. Almost there and it's really bright out and it's really hot, but I'm almost there and my chai is waiting for me. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this video yet when I was talking about the chai initially, but it's like $5 for a chai that's like a large and a 10 out of 10. I get one every single day. wound up having my meeting at 12 and not one. I hope I don't have anything on my face. I just ate a sandwich. That's what this was. I have to share this story because this is ridiculous. On Monday, actually, let me break down. Sunday night, the Ravens played and I was wearing a Ravens jersey. Then on Monday, when the Ravens, you know, the day after they won, I was wearing my jersey at school. But you know how like frat guys are and they're like, oh my God, name like three, oh, shut up because I will prove you wrong every time, but it's also just annoying. I was like, I don't feel like wearing it to school, but then I was like, why Why should I care about like what some stupid man says? So like, I'm gonna wear it anyway. So I wore it, went to White Bison on Monday. This other guy comes over and he's like, oh, I'm from Towson. And I was like, oh, that's like really close to me. Like, you know, that's cool. We start talking and he literally is like, hey, this guy I know really well. He basically does booking for like this big agency. And I was like, oh, what agency? Tell me why, it's my dream agency. And he was like, give me your email address. I'll send you over to him. Oh, I was like, okay. I see them again on Wednesday. I'm about to leave today and I see them again. And like, they've stopped every single time and talked to me. What's so crazy is like Monday, I was literally about to get up and leave. And then I was like, let me stay like a few more minutes. And then they came over and like said something to me. I almost didn't wear my jersey. The only reason why he said anything to me in the first place was because he saw my Ravens jersey. And then Wednesday I almost left and then they came up to me. And then today I was about to get up and leave because I was like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get something to eat and then go back to school. Literally as soon as I was about to stand up, they come over and say hi. I was like, this is crazy. So firm believer that things happen for a reason. Everything lines up the way it's supposed to. I have it on my wrist. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because I wound up having my meeting at 12 and not one. So now it's like 1.30ish. I did like half of a reading. I took the contract law quiz, did the reading for that. So I just have some more readings I have to do and then maybe work on my business plan a little bit. Nothing crazy. Oh my God. You know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So now it's just school time and then live on the lawn at 3, 30? I don't remember what time it is. I literally just sat and did like five assigned readings and I feel like I've still gotten nothing done today. I always have so much that I have to do that I feel like nothing ever actually gets done when I finish those things because I still have so much more. I'm walking to the lawn right now for a live on the lawn. I'm really excited, it is really hot out, so I hope it cools down, but I'm in a stairwell and it's echoing, so I'm trying to be quiet. Get my phone! Do you guys want to be like this? Vlogging. After more, you know, had that her one big fan come up so to her. That's so cool, I want to be a brother. Okay. <laughs> 
is so funny. I love you guys. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> Sophie's climbing her stake as a real stand before. This is Grace. Hey. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Grace. This is Nick. And Morris right over here. This is live on the lawn. Oh, and this is Karen playing. I mean, and this is everybody else here. Oh. <laughs> Such a good turnout today. So it's like 8.30 right now. Oh my god, 8.31, that was a straight guess, okay? I got home at like seven. I have been so tired and I'm trying to wake myself up because I have other things I need to do. But I'm gonna give you a rundown of what I did today. I woke up at six, I went and got gas, ate breakfast on the drive to school, then I did some work until my 9 a.m., had my 9 a.m., and then I went to White Bison, had a coffee, actually I had a chai. 10 out of 10. Had a chai and then I did some more work there, had a meeting and then I had a sandwich from White Bison and then I walked back to school, did more work for like another hour and a half and I then went to live on the lawn, did a little bit of vlogging there, just a little, just a little bit. I went back inside, did a little bit more homework because there was traffic and I was not gonna take 45 minutes to drive home when it normally takes 20 minutes. So I waited a little bit. Then I went to McDonald's because listen, I am a Chick-fil-A stan. Like I am more of a Chick-fil-A person over McDonald's, but the McDonald's rewards app is seriously like the best food rewards app ever. I saw like a TikTok or something on Twitter where somebody was like, we all have that one friend that has like every food app downloaded so they get points all the time. Like that is me and that is me shamelessly because I'm a college student, first of all, and like that's just convenience. I also like, I'm a waitress. So if I don't feel like getting food from where I work, I probably am just going to be getting fast food on the way home because I'm too tired to make anything and I just don't feel like doing it. I rack up points. But the thing with the McDonald's app is I have like a ton of points but I have not touched a single point because literally every single day there's like some sort of big reward. So like today I literally got, I got 12 chicken nuggets. I normally get 10, but I got 12 nuggets because if you got two six piece nuggets, one of them was free. So I paid like 269 for chicken nuggets and then I got a fry. So I literally paid like $5 for more than what I normally get. I'm obsessed and <laughs> like I use that app religiously. Probably not good for me, but I am that person, I just wanna say, that has every single reward system for food because I'm a college student too and like convenience is important, but price is important. So I'm telling you if you're in college, Download every single app. I don't have a meal plan for school either. So that's more of the reason why I'm saying this. If you have a meal plan, maybe don't do this because you'd want to use up like, if you're paying that much for your meal plan, like you better be putting it to use. Cause I didn't do that freshman year. Cause I was too anxious to go out and get food. If you don't have a meal plan and you don't feel like making food all the time, just like get the rewards apps. But I have them everywhere. Like literally everywhere. And I do not feel any shame towards that. That's everything that I did today. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do the rest of the night. I really don't want to do more homework because I'm just so drained from doing it. I did like so many readings today. I did two units of my pop music class. So I did all of those readings and then I did two quizzes. The reading for my contract law quiz took the quiz and then I did readings for my music cornerstone class and I think I did four readings, five readings ish. <laughs> like I got so much out of the way. I did so much for my internship too, which I couldn't really like show you guys because it's like I'm like actually working on stuff. So I can't like show that. It's, it's more so like marketing concepts and like things like that. I'm not gonna show you details obviously, but that's kind of the gist of what's going on there. I can't even remember. I didn't do my business plan. That's not due for two months, but it's just something that I'm supposed to be working on over time and I would like to do that. But I definitely have time. I'm not gonna force myself to do that right now because literally all week I have not opened a book. I have not opened a book all week and I really, really, really just want to sit and read. Even though I have a headache, I'm gonna do that. I currently have Magnolia Parks, which I am in the middle of. I'm on page 50. I started it earlier this week. Maybe I started it last week. I don't even remember when I got it, but I also have my September TBR. If you guys watch my September TBR video, I've literally read one of those books because that's all I had time for. One of the books on there was a reread and it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because the first time I read it, I did not love it, but I think I was just in a reading slump when I read it because I truly think like I could really like this book. So I think I'm going to start reading this again right now. Uh, what day is it? It's the 22nd. Is it? 
there's 30 days in September. I'm not gonna get through my TBR, that's for sure. We'll see actually, I'm not sure. I had two exams this week, so I was like really busy and then I just had a ton of homework to do. I worked and then I had a ton of internship stuff to do. I was busy, busy. So hopefully next week and the last week, I can hopefully knock out more of my TBR, but I have no, no clue. But this is what I'm gonna start reading right now. I think I'm gonna end this here though, just cause I wanna just like wind down. I also got home at seven, like I said, and I was so tired and I was like, oh my God, I just want to go to bed and I looked and it was seven o'clock and then I realized daylight savings is probably kicking into full gear right now because when did the sun set today? 6:44. absolutely not like you guys don't understand in order for me to have any happiness whatsoever the sun needs to set at 8 30 or later but I'm gonna read because this is my only time to read all weekend because I worked this weekend so I'm gonna go thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys when I see you